Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Now, a while ago I made a video on removing zero access. Uh, now there's a new variant of zero access doing the rounds. Uh, these older tools that was on the internet, which have been updated, don't actually remove the actual zero access from the system. So I've got a system here, a Windows 7 system, that's infected with zero access, okay? And as you can see here, McAfee has got a brand new tool out. And when you run this tool, it will say there is no uh, Trojanal virus found on your system. Now there is something on here and I'll prove it to you. Uh, it's just that it goes to show you that it doesn't remove these types of infections anymore. And the same thing for ESET, their um, zero access tool that actually removes this from the system, which I did in my last video when I made it. It doesn't actually work anymore, okay? So you're going to be in problems with these. So let me discard these out of the way and we'll take a look at how to remove it with uh, some other methods. So first off, let's have a look at it in action and see where it is on the system. So I'm just going to quickly fire up this program here. So once we go to services here, you'll see some areas like this Google update service okay and you can see here there's a load of uh, information here file does not exist so let me just pull this open okay so now we've got this open like this you can see there is a Google update service running here but it says it's stopped but if we right click on this uh, you'll see when we verify it it's not signed okay and this is the actual zero access here okay there's other parts of it on the system if you look at startup we can see uh, Google update also here and this is in the app data area if I pull this open here you can see it's the same folder it's relating to and uh, there's a load of gobbledygook there as you can see on the end of that folder so if we right click on this again and uh, verify the signature you'll see it's not signed here let me just show you that. So there's another one of them areas here and also there's some other locations where this file is located. So we're going to remove it from the system and if I go into Google here and desktop and install you'll see there's the actual file there and these are the actual files which are relating to that infection and there's some other locations on the system okay. Uh, it's also in the registry and you can open these up in the registry if you wanted to. But what we're going to do here is remove this. Now you can remove it with uh, these types of programs as well. But I'm going to show you a nice easy way of removing this from the system. So the first tool we're going to use is uh, Tiggs's Road Killer. Now he's done a lot of work on updating this stuff and uh, getting it ready to uh, remove this type of infection. So that's the first one we're going to run. And uh, you'll see it'll say zero access has been located on the system it's stopping that service as you can see there it's already detected that so let's run a scan on this now and you'll see a list of uh, files coming up here or registry keys that is detected and then you'll start seeing a zero access uh, locate here Okay, so this is, uh, you see here, it's opened up a page automatically to take you to uh, his site, which actually gives you a load of information on zero access, okay? And it gives you a bit more of an explanation of where it is and what it's doing on the system. You can read that at your own leisure. But you can see here, what we're gonna do is delete these files. Now we need to reboot the system, so I'm gonna reboot. Just let this reboot up, and this is the method you'll have to use to remove it. Okay, so we're back at the desktop again. Now we need to run Rogue Killer again. Let's let us do its uh, preliminary scan there, and then we're going to run another scan just to make sure.
Okay, that's now all cleaned up, so we're just going to hit the delete key there. So now we're finished with uh, Road Killer. Now we're going to run the service scanner here by Farbar. And you'll see that we need to do some repairs. Now the repair tool from ESET still works. Okay, you can see that we need to fix these areas here and it says attention as you can see and we've got the tool to do this job for us and you can see here it works all the way down Windows Defender and whatnot so we don't need to look at that anymore what we're going to do here is run our service repair tool from ESET now this still does work and I will run this now needs to reboot so we'll just let this load up okay so let's run Farbar service scanner again Okay, so now we've got one last problem which is uh, common, which is the action center no notification icon, and we're going to fix that now. But everything else has been fixed, as you can see, and I have the actual registry file here to fix that. So, what we're going to do is just run this registry file, and that will now fix that. And we should be all back up and running and working. and there we are everything's back to normal so what I would do is uh, run Malwarebytes and other programs like that so let me just quickly run a scan with uh, Malwarebytes okay that's the scan nearly finished and as you can see we've got a clean bill of health and you can run some other scanning tools like Hitman Pro and ESET Online Scanner if you wish if you want to be reassured that your system is clean but as you can see this one's back to normal and we're up and running so I think we're going to call this one done so I hope this one helps you out in removing zero access the new version and uh, I'll be making more videos again in the future now my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that like button guys and also hit the subscribe button to stay up to date when I upload new videos and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again for watching thanks for your support bye for now